Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're taking a look at the human superpower of rotation. All right, so first I want to say, don't be afraid of my wrist. I'm just, I forgot that we were filming today and I'm just doing a little bit of iodine therapy to help <laughs> to, to increase my thyroid function. So what are we, oh, today we're talking about the human superpower of rotation. And you can use this for any population, but you all know that I'm really interested in the menopause population and this is a big thing to clean up in your menopausal clients. It's very, very important. And like before, Casey is my model again. They probably think that we have no other friends I know. because we're the only models for each other. All That's right. <laughs> so, so Casey's going to show you where she's putting the magic circle right below the breast. And it's like she's holding a big bushel of flowers here. So you want the elbows to lift, but the shoulders to drop. So you can have nice width in the collarbone and the upper back. So now she's going to turn around so you can see her back because this is very important. So I w it's very, very important. Life, <laughs> life or death here. So I want her to be anchored steady on her pelvis because I want her pelvis, legs, and feet to stay in place. So on her inhale, she's gonna rotate to the right. So she's breathing her right ribs back and her left rib forward. And then we're looking, you can hold there, Casey. We're looking to see if we see symmetry on both sides and equal length on both sides. And then she'll rotate and arrive back to her center and then inhale to the left, breathing her left lung back. So here, because everyone has this, right? A little bit to, to, to um, a lot. Casey has a, a scoliosis, and so we can see that she's shifted a little bit more to her right. So I can just cue her, I can tap here on the flank of her left side and on her ribs, and notice how she made the rotation a little bit of a smaller range of motion when that started to happen. She had to create a little space for herself to lengthen out there, and then gently come back to center. All right, so now she's gonna stand up facing the camera. So, why do I call this the superpower of humans? Well, a cheetah, their power is in the sagittal plane. Humans, our power is in rotation, it is in gait. But we muck ourselves up so much because of the habitats that we put ourselves into slumping at the desk, driving, et cetera, et cetera. So we get really good at rotating in one direction and really bad at rotating in the other. So that's why it's so important to pay attention to this in our clients. So in the standing position, again, you could do the rotation just from the rib cage, keeping the pelvis, legs, and feet still. But now, since we have limited time because Angelo is glaring at me, we're gonna start the rotation from the feet first. And that's gonna cue the rest of the rotation all the way up through the spine. So I'm gonna have her think about rotating to the left. So she has to supinate, pronate on her feet. She allows that to talk to the femur heads, to the pelvis, to the rib cage, and look at that beautiful spiral through the whole body. And then again, we can check out because we're, and she's doing a beautiful job here. We're still looking at that length on both sides. And here's her tricky side too. So we could do a little tapping to create more length there and then gently arrive back into center. All right, very nice. Thank you, Casey. Thank you. That's all for today. If you have a question or an observation that you'd like to see answered in an upcoming episode, comment below, Facebook, Twitter, or the forum. See you next time and never stop learning.